Just got done with a successful Montana spring black bear hunt here. Uh, just couldn't be more stoked about the outcome of this hunt. This is a bear I've been after for a couple years now. and We finally got it, got it skinned out. Got the quarter bag here with uh, one hind quarter, the back straps and tenderloins. So one question I get asked a lot is, how exactly do these mystery ranch packs work? How do you pack out a load with all of this stuff after you're in the field and get something down. So I'm just gonna walk you through here really quick how I personally like to pack a load out and how these packs work best. This pack here is actually the Mystery Ranch Pintler. This is the first year I've used this particular pack. It's a little bit smaller than the Metcalf that I've been using in the past. I've got the new nice frame on there, almost two pounds lighter than the old one. Been really enjoying that this spring. So as you can see, I'm just gonna separate the bag here from the frame first, which is just a series of a uh, couple straps here and some buckles. What's nice about the Mystery Ranch packs is that you can separate this frame from the bag is, you know, like I said, what I'm doing right now. Um, so you can keep the load, all this weight right tight against your back. Um, you're not strapping it to the outside of the bag and it's wanting to pull you back. It's just a ton of fatigue on your shoulders and uh, mid and lower back. So I'll show you when this thing gets separated here. It's really awesome. I'm gonna undo these buckles, just the side buckles here. You can see I got my water bladder, the straw out of the way here. Okay, now you'll see here, I'm gonna just take the bag right up over the top of the nice frame right here and separate it. Now you can see it opens that up. You can put the weight right here against your back. So I'll show you there is a, right here is the load sling portion that kind of slings underneath this crossbar here. And I'll want to loosen this as much as possible. That'll allow me to really pull that pack out, get more of a shelf here in the bottom, set that load in. And uh, as you can see when I do that, it's not going to allow anything to slip out the bottom. Okay, so now that I got the frame here separated from the bag, um, I'll probably just put the bear like this. Keep the majority of this hide right down along the bottom. Take this. Should be able to just bring that bag back up over the top. Now I'll find these side buckles here. Get these buckled again. I like to um, typically get everything sort of buckled all the way around and then go back and tighten all the straps. I've found that if I tighten a buckle and then you know cinch it tight, I end up needing to loosen it so I can get the right amount on this side. So I recommend doing all your buckles first. Just gonna go around this thing. And as you can see, not only do these help, you know, suck the bag down tight, to keep the load in without moving around, but it also is going to allow, you know, nothing to slide out the side of this load as well. Once I get this all, all buckled down here. These are the last buckles. These are at the top of the bag. We'll come back here to the nice frame again, and that'll help hold that head from wanting to flop around side to side as well and you know this is a bear obviously but with an elk with a deer it's really no different I like to
keep the cape rolled up sort of at the bottom like that, sort of stretch the neck up towards the top and then have the head kind of come out the top of the pack like this. I found that that works best. Um, unless, you know, it's an elk rack or something bigger, then I like to position it so the antlers are down and the skull sits up right here. Um, every load's a little bit different. This is obviously ideal for bear. So get that done, tighten that up. Got to put these straps back now and we're almost done. The other thing I like about this setup is the fact that I've got all my rain gear, I've got extra camera gear, I've got everything inside this pack. And it's, you know, it's not ever going to get bloody, touch the load, anything like that. You can keep them totally separated. So, as you can see, here's the finished load. Brand new, nice frame on the Pentler bag. New for 2016, and we are ready to get out of here. You know, this is just one way to load the pack. There's a million ways that you can load these things. There's enough buckles, there's enough length in the straps. That there's really not one way to do it. I would actually love to see if you guys have other methods that are different than this. I couldn't be more pleased with how today turned out. Finally closed the chapter on a bear I've been after for years, and I couldn't be more proud to pack this thing out.